Is that Yami? Yami is here. Yes, we got Yami against Heatstroke. Wait, is that Heatstroke? The only one of these people play? Uh, Heatstroke should play some heavy. Honestly, he only plays heavy. It's probably going to be K Rule or DK. Okay. Um, Heatstroke. Yes, it's Heatstroke. I love Julius. He's a great guy. Um, and then Anta Yami is probably going to play Palatina from what I hear. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, so Yami, some love. Sandy Books, I got you. CJ, Sandy Books says he, she loves you. Don't know who that is. It's a she. Okay, okay. I, I made sure to go safe. There you go. Your love is conveyed. Yeah, yeah. I. Oh, you're right. On second thought, I should have gone with they. It's his. Non binary. Hey, you say hi? Yeah, I, yeah, there we go. I should have said I love you. I love you, says Sandy Books. That would have been good. That would have been a little... Okay. Nice stuff. He had a DDD in Smash 4. Absolutely he did. Um, he could also be playing DDD. You are 100% right. Yeah, but DK, probably the best of his uh, his uh, signature characters, really. And DK is also improved in this game. Um, now, the question is, is he about to choose Orange? It's all hung around. All right, never mind. Yeah, it's, pro it's probably going to be Pontana, but of course, like, CJ's played every character in the book for years. Ooh, so I'm not surprised at this one. He was a Peach player in Brawl. He messed around with her a little bit in Smash 4. So this is not surprising, uh, especially considering how good this character is. So. Oh yeah, definitely. These characters have got major buffs in this Absolutely. game. Absolutely. I think the whole entire just the flow of the game, the neutral really shoots a lot. Yeah, her her damage output is otherworldly. Yeah, <laughs> you get down really tilted, you're taking 90. I joke about that every time I get down tilted, I'm like, I should be at 90. Down tilt until basically like 100. The down tilt in the air, to re grab, or re down tilt, or down tilt, drag down up air, re down tilt, man, this re down tilt stuff. Hey, now you're off stage again. Yeah, you're off stage as DK, buff aerial spinning Kong, please. Uh, yeah, but DK got some really good buffs in this game too. Yeah, absolutely. His uh, his everything other than his recovery is seems to be generally better. But man, if that recovery is not way worse in this game, and that hurts. Yeah, it definitely feels. It feels like it had a lot more hits. And that's pretty much all I, I It can used tell. to have startup intangibility and it used to last a lot longer. So now he's not able to mix up by kind of delaying it like he used to or kind of going back and then forth again. Um, and he, you can now always hit him out of the startup of it as well. So it is generally just much weaker when it already was bad. Yeah. Uh, so it's really rough uh, and definitely his worst flaw. Yeah, all stages definitely going to be his hardest position. Yep. Turns is a really good edge going tool, especially in this game. We yes, can air absolutely. Dodge. No air dodge. Well, yeah, one air dodge, but, but uh, you don't want to waste it on turnip, too, right? You don't want to get frame trapped into yeah. aerial. And then, um... If he uh, air dodges even before he gets to a ledge, he's pretty much dead from anywhere off the stage. Yeah. His recovery is just way too far. I am way too short to make it back from anywhere other than just right there. Mm. Right now, he's, he took a nice 180%, but he's mounting a slow comeback, slow, yeah. slowly but surely. Peach's kill power, Peach slash Daisy, of course. Uh, the kill power is pretty nice, obviously. Uh, Fair being well, that still a very strong option. Back throw, of course, very nice, too. Uh, yes, he does have a kill throw and back throw, but yes. Donk Gun's a heavy boy. He's very heavy, absolutely. All right, now, this is dangerous, because even though... Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Trading Bears is going to yeah. end up with the stock there. It took quite a lot of percent, but honestly, uh, with a light character like Daisy, of course, very doable from here. Yeah, that was a dangerous position because Daisy could easily got killed by like, a back here at like 90 mm -hmm. by a full range DK. But yep. taking that stock off early, well, not early, but taking yeah. it off eventually, put him in a really good position. And then we saw one or two neutral exchanges. Is all Daisy needs to get a lot of damage. 86%. Uh, ending it with a back uh, down throw rather onto a platform, which is a nice position. Ooh, heavy boy living again. Yeah, he was just very oh. easy edge guard position. Yeah. Yeah, he was just kissing the blast on that last time, and then yep. he just finished him off with that counter. Counters off stage against DK again. Excellent in this game. Yeah, that counter got major buffs in this game. Mm -hmm. It used to not kill. I never saw anybody die from that counter once in Smash Four. And this, in this game is a legitimate counter. Like it's yes. super scary. So right now, Daisy, not actually not really floating that much. Mostly just getting a lot of combos on DK. Mm been reading all his options pretty well. Hasn't been able to get back on stage while taking at least 20%. So, mm -hmm. the piece is doing, or Daisy is doing a really good job of just controlling the neutral. Yeah, and pushing advantage state pretty far at the same time. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, which is really important against DK. The difference between Peach and Daisy, I am so sorry, I don't know. I know that the differences are very minimal. I've heard about the audio cue on uh, side B, how Peach just comes out frame one, and then, uh, what is it, Daisy comes out way later. But uh, apart from that, I don't know the differences. I think they are minute, if, if existed at all. But uh, One has blonde hair, the other one has brown hair. <laughs> that, there's a difference. Mm, King K. Rule is on the way. The audio cue on side B is it. That's what I thought, but I, uh, I didn't want to assume that I knew it all, because I absolutely don't. 
Uh, so K roll versus Daisy. I think that could be a better position just for this projectile zoning and all his other options. This arrow is a little bit more approaching the DK, if that makes any sense. He has fear to approach the DK has to kind of turn around and back air. Yeah, back air is, of course, an excellent anti air tool or air to air tool, as it always has been. Uh, it's very, very good. Two inch roll, one short out. Uh, very safe, of course, because we got ultimate sealed changes and uh, an excellent move. DK, great character. The K rule is in business as the cheese predicted. Uh, Julie is a master of heavy characters. I love it. So, I guess this is going to be a. This, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's definitely going to um, be interesting. Again, he has a better out ship also with his Nair. Yeah, so yeah he should definitely just try to punish him for his attacks on shield, but it's still going to be really hard with Daisy. It is definitely really punish to punish, uh, dif difficult to punish Daisy once she gets to you. Um, the good news is, yeah, we got we got serviceable projectiles. Of course, Crown is amazing. Yeah, Crown is one of the best projectiles in the game, in my opinion. And then uh, Cannonball exists. It's kind of a strange move, but uh, yeah, it is a strange move. But it can definitely come in handy there. Uh, waiting for it. And Ooh, I, and yeah. And I just know how monstrous that back is. It is super strong. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Now, the confirmed he can get is uh, down air into up smash or up air, which will probably come right now. Mm. Probably go nowhere with that. Is. Mm. And of course, one of the nice things about this switch is that we're going to see the advantage state for K rule is uh, not advantage state, disadvantage state for K rule is a little nicer than DK's off stage. He'll be much more fine than he was because um, that K, that uh, recovery is quite big, a lot, pretty misleading. Yeah, the recovery is good, but that, that crown, no matter who you're using, Peach or Daisy, is just ridiculously strong. The iconic Peach fan. I, I want to know what it's made out of. <laughs> That's a good question. And how they can just like take off the hands head so easily and just smash yeah. it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Very strong girl. Uh, they are both professional tennis and baseball players, so you know their arms are very strong. CJ making decent use of the crown there, uh, but it looks like it finally got back to the king himself. Ooh, that's a nice little bootleg combo of propeller in the forward air. Who he's playing? Who I'm playing? I'm playing Pokemon Trainer. Oh, nice. And some Greninja, but. So you're just a Pokemon master now? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> well, you gotta start somewhere. Yep. This, ooh, countering the uh, cannonball is an interesting decision. Oh, that's uh, yeah. yeah. Having the crown against K roll is actually really bad. It's very me. nice to have. Uh, he used it there to, to strengthen his ledge pressure a little bit. Nice. That was, I was, uh, I was thinking he was probably just gonna down throw where the percent is so high you can get F tilt or whatever quick kill option, but hey, if you can kill with fourth throw on DI out, feel free. Yeah, I had no idea he went forward though. Yeah. This man plays K roll, I don't. You knew better than I did. Ooh, nice. nice, getting the stage control with that inhale. Oh, oh no, uh, an SD there from Antayami. I guess he was just. Probably just an accident. Yeah, I mean, obviously an accident, but. but yeah, I guess mistakes. it was scared or something, probably the forward air. K roll did go down there with him, but probably just a miss input at the end of the day, yeah. I assume. And of course, K roll on ledge, get up attack. Fully invincible in this game. One of my favorite changes, at least, because uh, it gets rid of all the the strange stuff you used to have to deal with at ledge, like Falcons holding jab, beating your get up attack, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, get up nice. attack, fully invincible, so you can always beat cheesy options, which is nice. Yeah. That fully invincible thing is really good option for big here, especially DK. Yeah. And he has that giant arm. The, yeah, yep. he has an easier time getting on stage and just get through all card. The K roll fair did not hit, and Tayami just dusty. So, the slots basically started out even, and they're keeping even right now. It yep. was really getting to me like devastating combos Ooh. or anything, but K-Roll does hit like a truck, so Absolutely. one or two more hits can be the death of Peach yep. or Daisy. Oh, I can't tell with these two. <laughs> That's fair. They are essentially the same character. Uh, the closest Echoes can be, but... Yeah, literally. Or I guess, wait, I guess Simon and Richter are even closer, but... I count them as Echoes. Um, we have another ledge position. That inhale, very big. We're seeing a really aerial-based game. We're seeing yeah. CJ look like he's playing to avoid the stuff that is like definite kills at this point, right? Like down tilt is something you just don't want to get hit by. Down, down throw might kill you, you have to mash up. Yeah. That's a kill. Yeah, that's definitely death. Yeah, I, I was surprised he wasn't going for float more. In that situation, I can definitely see that Cable was looking for a down throw. Yeah. But he kept saying uh, grounded, so I think that's why he got hit in the down throw for his help. Yep. Uh, K roll up air, unfortunately. Uh, uh, not a too suitable of an anti air move. Yeah, it's definitely strong. But not it's strong, but he's got that FAF. He's, he freaking, he, whoa, he messes around before he does anything else. Stupid dash dance. The dash dance is pretty funny. I'll give it that. And that's, uh, we're at 1 1 here. K 
Payroll's run is just like so scary. Yeah, he's, 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 he comes at he's you. Really absolutely. Boring, man. He's rushing for you. I don't know what's scary though. Carol or Bowser? The Bowser's very like. Bowser's scary too. They go, like, <laughs> honestly, every every. Yeah. And he's so fast. Dude. I played Mario and I was playing against a Bowser one time. I ran across the across the FD just to get away from the reset and neutral. You know, he just comes chasing after me, catches up and grabs me. Bowser. Bowser being fast is so funny. There are so many of the heavies in this game are fast, right? It's weird. Yeah. I you was, wouldn't expect it. I was shook when I see a fast heavy. That was that scared me. Fast crap, heavy. So we're probably going to see, oh, okay, we're going to see maybe a DVD switch, which would be interesting. We get some three heavy character acts in one game, in one uh, set. Okay, this is very interesting. We give CJ the, the, the liberty to counterpick here, but he's, yeah, of course, he doesn't have the advantage he did. Um, oh, this, this seems like a really bad matchup. I would imagine. <laughs> but DDD, of course, another really much improved character in this game. Um, yeah, he's still very... He's very improved, but he's still not that good. He's still, he is still a heavy and a slow one at that, um, but... Uh, Gordos are much better. Uh, the inhale is very nice for dealing with some projectiles. Yeah, and you, you can inhale projectiles too. Yes. And you can inhale Gordos and shoot them back at people. So he has some new stuff in this game, definitely. But this disadvantage state is going to be as heavy as all are. I was there for four hours and only got to play two matches. You're lucky. I've been here for how long and I've played one. <laughs> Yo, this is going to be a really long stream. <laughs> it's going to be rough. But, but, but we're, we're in it for the long haul at this point. There's a double jump up there. you got to really look out for that. She has... A good bit of time to go up and do that. It's not true at all, of course, but um, yeah. you really do have to get out of there after you're put in that position. And it's uh, it's tough because air dodge is risky and jumping is giving away one of your jumps. Yeah, Taltan is one of the scariest people just to be under. Yes, up absolutely. Up air lasts for so long. And very long strong. lasting, very strong. Uh, you are absolutely right. Holding that down smash, I like it. Gutsy. He was just challenging him the normal get up, and he was like, yep. just thinking about yeah. all the plans, 3,000 IQ plans. Like, maybe if I jump off ledge. This will work. Yeah, the pink with their hair is ugly. I can't disagree. I'm okay with that. I don't like the pink. Uh, with, on her dress? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the pink with the red, the yeah, pink with that, that green. But that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. She's a goddess. She can wear whatever she wants. Yep. We're seeing Antayami pushes disadvantage. Ooh. Okay. But that's okay. Yeah, you don't expect that move to be as big as it is. And landing on the platform, of course, was a little, a little deceiving. So, uh, so that's I, a decent, good way to I take a start. He just wasn't ready for the hitbox that there he is. Yeah, I assume. He was looking, I think he was looking for a punish, but he just got on the landing. Guard by it. Yep. Didn't expect probably the landing on the platform and the big hitbox with it. Oh, that's only fires. Really yeah. Covering options, especially in the air. Very good at catching high offstage recoveries and and the occasional landing there, as we can see. There's the dashboard nair. He gets a few more nairs off this. Oh, I'm yeah. missing the last one. That's okay. Lily. Pulling him through the whole entire near tree. Yeah, you gotta go through it. To stage to the other. As a heavy, it is tough. <laughs> Trevor with the you idiot. That's okay. Yeah, that holy fire is so good for covering options from far away. Yep. Fire? Fire? Flame is a very oh, strong move. Yeah, the, yeah, that up and smash is, of course, the thing you always gotta kind of keep in mind, right? Like it's it's not the greatest move, but it catches two frames very easily, yeah, and it's good it is. For catching jumps too. Yeah, yeah, great for catching and jumps. Gordo again, trying to suck it in after he already shot it. Uh, he's just looking for Austin. He hasn't really been able to land a hit for a good... Ooh. Oh, wow, that covered the whole spot dodge. Yeah, he got just a tiny wild. bit of charge on it. It looked like it was almost an intentional spot dodge read. You can never tell, of course, but um, either way, great uh, yeah, great was, scramble option. Really. That was my, it's really active for real. Absolutely. It's really, really active. <laughs> This matchup looks straight trash. I agree. Yeah. It's probably pretty bad. It looks honestly like maybe his worst matchup. Maybe I I don't know about I don't quite know about worst just because I feel like Pichu would be yeah, pretty bad too. Stuff like worst. that. But uh, but definitely one of the worst. I, I, or, I assume. About Pichu. That, that seems unwinnable, honestly. 